Now you're connecting these dots, right? Which is that you're going to India, you're going to Brazil, you're going to Russia, you're seeing the level of uh, overconfidence that's come in here, you're seeing the way the prices have gone up. And then of course there was the case of China where, you know, where the sort of entire sort of belief was that whatever growth rate China sort of says it's gonna sort of do with uh, or has done in the past, it would just keep doing that. So here, all these dots I connected up and I said, this is not gonna work out the way people think it, uh, it will. Uh, because of the fact of the matter is that economic success is real, is very, very hard to sustain. Uh, and that's the lesson from the history of economic development. And I've also seen enough cycles in emerging markets to know that this is not going to happen. There are about 180 odd economies in the world which are tracked by the IMF. Only 35 are developed. The other 145 have been uh, emerging, many of them forever, right? So you've got Brazil's, Mexico's, et cetera, which have one good decade, and then they sort of do nothing for another couple of decades, and they have another good decade, but in terms of their per capita income as a ratio to the United States, they've been stuck for 50, 60, 70 years at the same level. And then you've got so many other examples from the Venezuelas and the Argentine, uh, Argentinas, which used to be first world countries that have regressed uh, uh, over the years. So economic success is, is extremely hard to sustain. And like the data that I quote in the book as well, is that in any particular decade, about one third of economies are able to grow at 5% or more in emerging markets. About one third are able to grow at an annual pace of 5% or more in any particular decade. The odds that those countries can keep growing for a second decade goes down to 25%. For a third decade, goes down to 10%. Only six countries in the world have been able to grow at 5% or more on average every year for four decades in a row. And only two have been able to grow for five decades in a row. Uh, at 5% or more. Those two being South Korea and Taiwan, what I call the gold medalists of growth. 